For a brief moment today, day turned to night. And according to NASA, everyone in North America, as well as parts of South America, Africa, and Europe, were able to see at least part of the eclipse. Here to give us a better understanding of what took place during this event is NASA astronaut Scott Kelly. He joins me now on set. Um, it's an honor to have you here because you've seen views that I'm sure are way more awesome than what we saw on Earth today. Describe the significance. Well, you know, I, I, I've had the privilege of seeing uh, the Earth from space and the sun from space and the moon and, uh, you know, the stars. So it's it's a, you know, incredible sight. But I think, you know, what the folks experienced today, especially in the, the path of, of totality, was pretty special. Too. And actually, you were telling me that you've actually never gotten to see a total solar eclipse. So th those civilians uh, out there on the path of mm -hmm. totality were actually able to see something that a real life astronaut's never yep. seen. Never, have never seen it, but <laughs> the next one, I will be there. Yeah, 2024. Um, talk about how significant this event is for the folks that weren't in the path of totality, mm -hmm. why people should care about this well, event. Well, I, I think there are two, two reasons. One is that there, it's a scientific event. There is science we get from this, being able, when the moon's in front of the sun, you can better study the corona of the sun, which is pretty amazing. I mean, if you consider the fact that the, uh, the surface of the sun is you know, 5,000 degrees Kelvin, mm -hmm. but the corona can be millions of degrees hotter, mm -hmm. and no one understands why. It's, there's, there are theories, but it's, you know, contrary to the laws of physics where, you know, this is the source of the energy, yet further away it's hotter. That doesn't logically make any sense. Mm -hmm. And when the moon is in front of the sun, you can see the corona better, and there's all kinds of, you know, scientific research being done right now, um, you know, until the the uh, eclipse the goes in the, into passes. the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, so, so it's interesting because because it's over the. Yeah. I'll get like, you get to the second point. Second point. But the, on the first point, what's interesting is because this is happening over the continental United States. My understanding is NASA has been able to deploy a lot more advanced equipment that it might not have been able to do had this been an eclipse in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, there are eclipses every year, but they're hard to, to witness because the Earth is covered, you know, 70% of the Earth is water. Right. And uh, so you'd have to go out in an airplane or, or in a ship to see it. So they're really being able to access information that they may not have been able to easily access. Yeah, before. hundreds of researchers, thousands of researchers with, you know, all kinds of scientific scientific instruments and telescopes all the way across the United States to study this is a really special moment. And what was your second point? My second point is this is a news story that is positive. It's something that can yeah. bring our nation together. I mean, no one is against for or against the eclipse. So it's great to see our country, you know, coming together at one time and one moment with one event. That's a great point. You know, I've interviewed astronauts before who have said when they see the Earth from a distance from space, they understand how small and how humanity is really one, you know, that we're all in it together. This is kind of a glimpse again mm -hmm. for people that never get that view from space to see that. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, when you do look at the Earth from space, you don't see the you know the continents like they appear on a map there are no political borders i mean it makes it look like everyone is you know we're all on this one planet this spaceship flying through space and time together yeah. and we need to work better together i think to you know solve our our common problems so it's great to see something like this bring people together it's a beautiful thought nasa astronaut scott kelly thank you so much for your unique insights on this my pleasure thank you